Where did my bark beetle go? Do you guys see where he went after he climbed to the top? Is anyone keeping track of my bark beetle? I found him. He's on the sand right there. Here. That little, that black right there. See him? Hopefully I will have bigger weevils soon. When I get, um, when I get rhubarb weevils, hopefully we will have bigger ones and they'll, you'll, you'll be able to see them a little bit better when we have the, the bigger ones. But for now, we just have some ambrosia, carpet beetle, and a clover seed weevil. Real megalodon sightings we can no longer deny. Like and subscribe, and or you'll, you'll find have amazing luck for the oh. rest of the week. Thought it was Hello. gonna be one of those, or you'll. I like when they promise luck rather than threaten you. It's nice to not start with a threat. For like the first ten megalodon react videos I ever watched, it started with a threat. It was like a spider will crawl into your mouth when you sleep, or you'll have terrible luck forever. I was like, what? <laughs> Let's do this. Massive shark off New England coast. No a way. massive shark was captured on video lurking around a tall This is a different video. That's a great white. Ship off the coast of Massachusetts. That's a basking shark. Those are two different videos. You didn't even match up your stock footage. Massachusetts. The clip caused an uproar on social media when That's it was That's a whale shark. <laughs> okay. The video has been going for 30 seconds. A solid 20 of that was an intro, and we have seen three different species of shark. First released. The prehistoric sized shark was filmed swimming this slowly is another video. alongside a ship full of research students. Okay, the that's at least the same video. Scream their hearts out. A musician and biodiversity student captured the clip from the mast of the SSB Corwith Kramer, over 100 miles off the coast of the Woods Hole section of Falmouth. The video raked in over 37 million views. These are all different videos, they're just combining whatever stock footage they have. They're using all this footage now. I don't know what they're going to use for the rest of the video. Usually the channel makes like this number three and then like the basking sharks number four. And then you've got maybe the whale shark is number two because it looks kind of big. They're using up all their content too early. Since it was posted on TikTok, one user jokingly commented that it was a megalodon. Due to the attention the video gathered, researchers became interested in the finding. They no, studied they and concluded it was a giant basking shark. Not basking even really giant, are... kind of a normal sized basking shark. And no researcher needed to look into it. Anyone who knows anything about sharks could... It's a fairly easy identification. I'm not even that great with my shark identification. You know, I study freshwater, not the ocean. Fairly easy basking shark ID. Of the second largest species of their kind, measuring up to 26 feet long. Basking shark. Shark-shaped blob. The school of mackerel. This had to be one of the realest megalodon sightings in history, except that scientists got an instant answer to their question. Imagine how scientists felt when they found a 15-meter shark-shaped blob on their underwater movement detector. The red blob resembled you a shark. This has to be one of the most real. This guy is confusing me. I think he said this has to be one of the most real evidence of all time, and then immediately said, but no. For a moment, they thought they were looking at a prehistoric shark that had been extinct for three million years. However, as researchers from the Atlantic Shark Institute watched in awe and fascination, they saw the red blob scatter into thousands of smaller fish. They then realized they were looking at a crowded school of Atlantic mackerel. They group into one to make the expedition more exciting. Megalodons are best remembered for being antagonists. <laughs> the exposition. What was that? Wait, hold on. Rather than that's some new stock footage. Megalodons are best remembered for being antagonists. <laughs> Dude, go frame by. Fr hold on, I want to go frame by frame on this. This is so funny. When does he disappear? Let's frame by frame the editing here. Okay, guy. Sure. Here, leg is still in existence. He's still in the exact same position. They just had him fade out as the Meg comes in on top. That's some poor CGI work. I'm expecting better. Tagginess in the movie The Meg, rated as one of Jason Statham's most realistic movies. Jason Statham, did you guys hear? Oh, why is my camera frozen? Hello? Hello? Um, hello? Oh, why that face? That's a bad face for my camera to freeze on. Hold on a minute. Um, could you unfreeze, please? Oh no, everything's broken. The other cam froze. The other camera froze too.
Um, the camera's off. The camera is totally off. So why are both of the cameras off? Um, we might have to do the rest of this frozen. I don't, what, what do I do? Hold on. I simply need to find a GIF of myself. My fan cams? Oh my god, I really don't want to download a TikTok right now. Alright, we're just gonna finish the video as a PNG, I guess. I'll just put up funny fish GIF. Yeah, that'll do. Hold on. Alright, let's continue the video then. Terrifying huge shark. This entry features another possible reason <laughs> to believe- Oh my god, that footage gets me every time. This fucking video gets me every time. This truly Hi. shows that you could make the worst CGI in existence. I could, in my like shitty free trial editor, with no knowledge of Blender, make something better than huge this. Shark. This entry features another possible reason to. <laughs> that video is so funny, man. I want to make something of that quality and offer it to one of these channels for free to see if they post it. I think they're so desperate for like, I don't know, stock footage that they might actually do it. This giant shark was seen on camera, scouring the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Netsians debated its true identity. It further sparked debate about if megalodons still exist. The colossal predator was no swimming debate. over what looked like. It also wasn't in the Mariana Trench. Like an abandoned shark cage, the almighty megalodon. It's not a shark cage, nor is it abandoned. There's literally a camera on it. How could this possibly be an abandoned shark cage if there's a camera actively recording it? Lurked that is the exact opposite definition of... Uh, uh, uh. Another user added that our oceans are so massive and vast that they can hide for many years and still go unnoticed. I agree with this thought, but skeptics disagree. They say the creature may have been a sleeper shark that can reach up to seven... May have been. And by skeptics, he means Tires. anyone who has any idea what they're talking about. Another user said... <laughs> yeah... I don't know if I would take forum advice from random users as your evidence of sharks. Time Traveler's Tale. What? What? No way. Wait, is the preface of this Megalodon evidence that we had to have time traveled? Wait, I need to know. Enough of what people have allegedly seen and heard. We now delve into the supernatural. A self-proclaimed time traveler from 2236 has said that scientists will bring back the massive extinct megalodon shark in- Bro, no way is your evidence from real TikTok time traveler. I am a real time traveler. No, bro. No. Oh, we've gone so far down the rabbit hole. What is this, man? This is your megalodon evidence now? What happened? Source, trust me, bro. What? In 2023, the unknown TikToker shared the warning on his handle at Real TikTok Time Traveler. <laughs> Holy shit, it has to be real. It has the word real in it. They wouldn't let him have that unless he had proven it, right? He also warned that a meteor will smash into the earth in 2034. Social media users didn't take his claims lightly. They laughed it off, calling it outlandish. They wondered how he imagined such bizarre things for the future. Although many social media users laughed off the claims, others were alarmed at the apocalyptic vision of our future. The time traveler remained unshaken. He insisted that scientists will discover a way to bring back the megalodon shark to life through its DNA and create a real one in 2023. Now, that's the time we're in Wait, now. a real one in 2023? Wait, there's going to be a real Megalodon back from DNA evidence? What DNA? Also so real. Yeah, the dinosaur DNA that we have preserved is through some crazy fossilization shit. All we have from Megalodons is like teeth. What, what, what DNA are you going to find? Now, two years from now, researchers may also find signs of life on two different planets. And they could be more advanced than humans. It's 2023 already. And we can't wait to see if these predictions come to life. Who would be excited to see these sea monsters? This is an insane thing to put in a sightings we can no longer deny video. 
by less than four minutes into the video, we're already talking about a TikTok time traveler. Bro could only fill three and a half minutes with actual attempts at sightings. In fact, 30 seconds of that is an intro. Bro could only come up with three minutes of actual attempts at evidence before deciding that he has to go to TikTok time He's travelers. back in our oceans. <laughs> not me. Sharks and rings. Huh? David Stead, an Australian naturalist, had at one point shared his experience with a megalodon. He didn't directly name the strange creature, but his description suggests he's talking about a meg. This is just the dude from like the 1800s who wrote a really big book. Shark Documentary Discovery Network was criticized for many reasons when it began airing a new program on Meg. Passionate viewers were worried at the deviation and feared that the station was propagating falsehood. The pro Feared that? I think it's pretty undeniable that the Discovery Channel was in fact posting mockumentaries without doing a very good job of labeling them as mockumentaries, making people think that the things in them were real. Program Megalodon, the monster shark lives, had an estimated 4.8 million viewers and became the largest audience of any show in the 26 years that Discovery made Shark Week. The network special speculated whether the giant prehistoric shark could still exist or not. The viewers were divided about the airing of such a film they called a mockumentary. They argued that it compromises the network's reputation. Michael Sorensen discovers... What reputation? Bro, Discovery Channel is just fucking like crazy shit now. Maybe when I was like a young kid, there used to be documentaries on it and you would like actually learn something environment. But I'm pretty sure for like over a decade now, Discovery Channel has been awful. They ruined their reputation long before they did anything related to a megalodon. Actor Will Wheaton, a regular viewer of the program, said he was disgusted by the show. He insisted Discovery owes viewers an apology for its presentation of science. Why are we watching stock footage of Will Wheaton? Bro, I haven't heard about Will Wheaton since I watched Big Bang Theory when I was like 14 and he was a character. Why is Will Wheaton relevant? Yet, they also have ancient aliens, so does he have a problem with that too? 2020 study. What? Yeah, probably. He probably does. Does he have a problem with that too? Aliens? Yeah, sure, he doesn't like the Megalodon, but what about aliens? Yeah, no, he probably, he probably thinks that's misleading too if he's any reasonable viewer. Recent studies by the University of Bristol researchers show that a megalodon's teeth could be larger than a human hand. They say the animal may have stretched over 50 feet long with a dorsal fin taller than a human adult. Paleontologist Jack Cooper and a team of researchers used several isolated teeth fossil discoveries to estimate the true what breadth does this of the have megalodon. To do with anything? They further revealed that the giant prehistoric shark is not only a direct ancestor of the great white shark, Instead, what? it's related to other macro predatory sharks like salmon, ow, magos, ow. and. I thought they were saying it was a direct ancestor of the great white. I was like, that's just not true. The shaky fish is very distracting. Grow up, all right? The shaky fish is saving us right now because neither of my cameras are working. The, the black demon of Cortez, all right. Shark graveyard. This is just the teeth. But these are just real things. Oh, okay, wait, maybe this is different. Canadian sighting. Isn't this the footage they used in, in the first 2016, one? 2016. That's not Canadian. What? This dude's phone is in Russian. Canadian YouTuber uploaded a video that shocked many, especially his followers. He was famous for his video special head. discoveries, but it wasn't his regular upload this time. The clip was reportedly filmed in 2014 and showed a colossal monster believed to be a megalodon emerging from the water. It's not believed to be a megalodon. Many have watched it and are indifferent about the creature featured in the video. Some speculate that the filmmaker may have mistaken it for a basking shark, but the YouTuber disagrees. The oh yes, the YouTuber who knows much more than the people identifying the fish. Alright, I'm over it. Oh. I switched back to camera, but there's nothing here, is there? Um. The Weevil Cam's still dead? It appears to still be dead. I don't know what's going on with my cameras, but... I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna I'm gonna be done for the stream because, you know, my cameras are non-functioning at the moment. Hopefully I can fix this. They just randomly stopped. Did I do anything? I don't think I did anything. Ah, whatever. Alright. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day. Bye bye. Whoa.